Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about a syntax analysis phase. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about lexical analysis phase. Please watch those classes and come back here. They are very important to understand this class. And one more thing, you should have some basic understanding about context-free grammar. So if you don't have any idea about context-free grammar, please watch our formal languages and automata theory context free grammar classes and come back here and this class is very very important to understand this is the basis for understanding our next classes which we are going to deeply discuss about a syntax analysis phase so please watch it until you understand this class coming to today's class first we will refresh the concepts of context free grammar then we go into the concept of syntax analysis phase context free grammars are written like this yes we are having non terminals we are having terminals yes is non terminal yes tends to a yes b capital letters are non terminals small letters are uh, terminals terminals means end of the productions yes means uh, non terminals means we can expand them uh, so a yes b or a b this is what the production s is uh, this can be expanded like this uh, yes tends to a means we have to check for input symbol a after that we have to expand yes yes is going to check for input symbol a then check call for yes check for uh, expand the production yes after completion of yes we have to check for input symbol b we have to check for input symbol b this is how context free grammar works this is used in our syntax analysis phase now coming to the syntax analysis phase let's take a simple example after understanding this example we'll go uh, we'll take a big language we'll take multiple statements we'll understand the how we write a context free grammar for uh, analyzing the syntax analysis now coming to the uh, take one line one line example if statement has been taken if bracket a a is an identifier why we call it as identifier in our last class when we discussed about syntax and uh, lexical analysis uh, a is an identifier we make it as an identifier token identifier less than is an relational operator uh, token b is an identifier token closed brackets then is an keyword token this this line of code will be divided into tokens in lexical analysis phase those tokens has been given as input to the syntax analysis phase so what's the input for syntax analysis phase the tokens which are generated by lexical analysis phase are given as input to the uh, syntax analysis phase so in order to and one more important point you have to understand here in syntax analysis phase we are going to check for whether this statement is syntactically correct or not what's the meaning of that if you find the if keyword after that you have to find for open bracket after that this is an expression a less than b is an expression here you can write any expression a plus b less than d a minus b less than c like that a less than b and b less than c any expression can be written here means first we have to find if if keyword after that we have to find open bracket after that we have to check for expression after that we have to find closed bracket then you have to find for then keyword if everything is found yes this line is syntactically correct that is what going to happen in syntax analysis phase for that we have to write the context free grammar to check this syntax how we write that we are writing only for single line in our next example we are going to write for uh, we'll take a big example and we'll understand how we write the context free grammar for the analyzing the syntaxes yes tends to first we have to find for if see small letters are taken as a uh, terminals and capital letters are taken as a non terminals means we can expand this uh, in place of if uh, usually what we have token if after that we have to we have to check for uh, what we have to check for bracket uh, in place of bracket token bracket uh, that is what the uh, terminal is uh, means the outputs uh, the input uh, the inputs are taken as a uh, tokens are taken as input here they are used in our context free grammar they are taken as terminals in our context free grammar after that you have to check for open brackets then you have to go for expression expression is a new production 
this expr is a is a non terminal this is going to check for id plus id or id less than id it is going to check for only two expressions plus id plus id is one expression id less than id is another expression but usually you have to write here this production expr non terminal has to identify any expression that present in the language means you can go with plus you can go with multiplication you can go with division you can go with less than less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to all these operators come into our expressions this expr production has to identify all the expressions but here for understanding purpose we have taken only two in our next class we are going to discuss how we write a context free grammar for expressions it is very important to understand that's why we are stressing it here very much you know next class we are writing context free grammar for understanding expressions expression after finding expression check for closed bracket token then you have to go for a then keyword token if these are found yes this line is syntactically correct this is anal analyzed like this in context free grammar. yes tends to check for if check for a open bracket then expand expression which expression has been found in our example a less than b yes a is an identifier less than is a relational operator uh, b is an identifier so id less than id yes we have found an expression this expression can be identified using our statement expr state expr production so id less than id yes it is going to check so then we will check for closed bracket then then this is how we will check syntax analysis you assume that assume that for suppose in our statement if we missed this open brackets what happens after finding if open brackets has been not found we clearly know that yes it has not found we can make a message that this bracket has been missing because in our context free grammar clearly it's mentioned that that is how syntax analysis is checked and error messages will be presented outside if the syntax is not correct in correct we will get the messages how we get that messages this is how they will de deliver the messages now coming to our next example the, the concept is over we will take one more example for better understanding so this is the pascal language in pascal language code starts from begin and end at end in between we are writing different statements for ease of doing we are in the pascal language we are considering only four statements what's those statements assignment statement i equal to 3 is an assignment statement while statement if statement and printf statement we will write context free grammar for only these four statements every line in a program is a statement yes while statement if statement printf statement assignment statement so you have to write the context free grammar for all the statements that are present in your programming language assume that for simplicity in our programming language how many statements are there we are having only four statements for that we are going to write a context free grammar see how our assignment statement is i colon equal to is an equal to symbol assignment symbol three constant has to be uh, uh, integer value num has to be taken or i is equal to i minus 1 means it's an expression assignment statement so our expressions has to identify expressions and constants both of them has to be identified now while how the syntax of while is while expression do after that we are having statements end this is what the syntax for the while statement if statement how the if statement if expression i equal to j is an expression then print it is a statement after then we can have a list of statements then we go to end after that begin end has been taken so how we write that context free grammar for this language so before going into context free grammar for that this begin is taken as a token begin token next i is taken as an identifier id comma one what's the meaning of that means this high level language is converted into tokens those tokens have taken as input to the syntax analysis phase 
I means identifier. It's placed in a symbol table in the first location. The token is mentioned like this. Colon equal to is an assignment. It's a token in our language. It's a token equal to uh, assignment operator in our uh, language. So how we write that? So we are taking that. See here. Compound statement tends to begin statement end. See capital letters are non-terminals. Small letters are terminals means compound statement is a production that is going to check for begin keyword after that it is going to expand statement means statement production statement after that it is going to check for end keyword token end keyword token so now in in between the begin and the end we can write any number of statements that is what our language is begin and the end we can write any number of statements so now stmt is a statement production it is capable of writing four different productions you can write any number of times how we write the syntax statement production tends to p it's a capital p means P is going to identify the, we have to write the production to identify print statement. We are not showing it here. In order to avoid confusion, not making more complex of this context free grammar. Next, if you want to check for the assignment statement, ID equal to, after that you have to find for EXPR. EXPR means expression non-terminal. See, expression non-terminal has to identify the all the expressions that are available in our programming language. Next class, we are going to discuss about expression context-free grammar and the disadvantages and what we have to do for expressions and all the operator precedence and associativity, how we consider that, how we consider that and write the context-free grammar, all those things will be discussed in our next classes. So it is going to identify print statement, it is going to identify assignment statement, it is going to identify while loop statement, while after that you have to go with expression, then check for do, then we can go, we can write statements, then end. If expression, then statement end. So statement is going to identify these four different statements. Now it is going to execute like this. See, compound statement will be started first. It is going to check for begin. After that, it is go going to expand the statement. And then finally, it is going to check for end. Yes, begin has been found. Now statement has been expanded. In our example, the first statement, the keywords i equal to 3. Yes, statement is going to check for. See, in the statement, we are having a C here. One more production is there, it's missing here. Statement, uh, comma, statement, statement, statement. We are calling it two times because in order to repeat uh, multiple times, uh, we are writing a new production for statement. Uh. So statement can take a statement, statement. Uh, one statement is expanded for ID equal to expression. Yes, it is going to check our first line. It is, it is valid. Identifier has been found. After that, what's the keyword has been found? Equal to has been found. Then check for expression. Expression has to be evaluated, expanded to check for the expression that is present in our. Yes, accepting a constant is possible in expression. Now, again, this statement will be expanded two times. Statement, statement. This statement is going to check for the next line, second line like that it is going to check for entire syntax at the last it is going to check for end begin end this is how context free grammar is used to check for syntax analysis line by line in our next class we are going to discuss we will continue this class hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.